Bob, thank you. A space experiment that should be visible here in Maryland is set to happen early Thursday morning, depending on the weather. Alex Dimitrik explains what we could see. Space weather is most visible when it fires up auroras, the northern and southern lights. It's caused by the bombardment of highly energized particles from the sun striking Earth's protective magnetic field. This week, NASA hopes to study those particles over the mid-Atlantic by creating a kind of artificial aurora. Launching a small rocket from NASA's Wallop Spaceport in Virginia, which will dispense soft drink sized canisters of colored vapor to create clouds of green and red visible to people on the ground. We expect them to be able to see it, uh, especially in the D.C., Baltimore area, uh, really from anywhere from New York down to North Carolina. The artificial cloud will be created 96 to 124 miles up in the ionosphere, giving scientists a glimpse into how highly energized particles interact with air molecules. But the clouds won't last long. About five to ten minutes uh, after the deployment. While it takes rockets to study those energized particles, they do have down-to-earth effects on technologies we all depend upon every day. Looking at our power systems, our telecommunication systems, uh, all that type of thing. Threatened by space weather to be studied with Thursday's launch provided regular weather clears. Alex Dimitrik, WJZ Eyewitness News. If our clouds do clear Thursday, you will have to get up early to see NASA's space cloud. The best estimate is between 4.30 and 5 a.m.